and in that release a new kind of structure appears, one described not by the pressure of particles, but by the geometry of space-time itself. Stand beside a river and watch leaves drift. Upstream they meander, caught in eddies, then suddenly the water quickens toward a low falls. Near the lip every twig seems fated to go over. That line is our way into the idea of an event horizon, the place from which no path bends back. Far from the black hole, space-time is only gently curved. Light and matter can go almost as they please. As you move closer, the current strengthens. The event horizon is the boundary where even light, which is as fast as anything can be, cannot make headway against the inward flow of space-time. It's not a wall in space. It's a point of no return in the geometry. Cross it, and all future paths lead inwards. The term is plain. Events inside can't affect what happens outside since no signal can climb out. From the bank you can hover with rockets, holding position even near the brink. You'll need more and more thrust as you get closer. Sit just above the horizon and your fuel burns at a terrifying rate. Drop something in and watch how it appears to slow and dim, never quite crossing in your view. That's because the light from the falling object is stretched by gravity, gravitational redshift and its arrival is ever more delayed. To the falling object, though, the crossing is ordinary. No bang, no flare, just a smooth passage into a region where all roads lead downriver.